crafter fam if you want to learn how to make this diy balloon stand for under 50 dollars using products from your local hardware store then stay tuned for this video Easiest way to do this is you have your base, you have your pole, you crisscross to where the it skips a color, right? Easiest thing. And then on this side where you're not wrapped around the pole, you want to basically get them on the same side and then opposite side. Okay, and so as you go up, as you go up the pole with this method, it'll start to become a spiral. Okay, so let's continue that. So when you start now, instead of starting in the same place, you're gonna start here because this is how you wanna end up, All right? Start here, you wanna end up this. 
So don't, um, basically you're always moving, you're always moving, you're always focused on one color. So I'm focusing on the black and make sure I'm, every time I add black, I'm adding it one notch over every time. As I do that, it'll spiral its way up. So I think we can get maybe two more levels in the shot. Let me get the right colors. Um, and that's why having very um, flexible necks are important. Like you don't want to over inflate your balloons. Even though these balloons are both 11 inches, this brand, it's not as flexible of a neck as this brand for some reason. So that's another reason why I'm focusing on the black. So I put my black down, next notch over. I put my blue and then I just focus on twisting my black back to the place that it started. If that makes sense. We'll do one more level and then I'll move up the camera. Move up the camera and then also do a time lapse. So this black is the next notch over. Cross it with the blue. This is my looser neck, so I'm just gonna go here and here. Boom. Okay, so as you can see, we go around and you can see the continuous spiral up to the top. Now I added a few um, smaller balloons, like this is the end of the nine inch, then we turn this into eight and then seven and then these were five inch that I made, two sets of five inch that I made um, four inches and then we added the mylar on top I, if you're gonna have a topper especially a mylar topper I like to um I like to make it cascading at the top like that like kind of like a mountain um because the mylar is such a the foil balloon is such a contrast to the rest of the column so this is just a basic column using four balloons um I do highly recommend um if you are going to make a lot of columns to practice the four balloon four point um, columns and then maybe upgrade your skills to a five point that way with a five point you would have less um, gaps but um, you can always add in little fillers of smaller balloons to fill in those gaps if you just want to do the four point Thanks for watching.